The segment is called Marquee Matchup and no bigger game in the NBA on Tuesday night than the Phoenix Suns hosting the Milwaukee Bucks. Talk about star power. Damon Giannis against the big three in the Valley of the Sun. And obviously that's Durant, Beal, and Booker. I uh, Suns are four-point favorites here. No surprise. Total 245. That's certainly a big number. So this is the nightcap of the TNT doubleheader. Interesting travel and situational spots. This is Phoenix's first game at home after a seven-game road trip. So a lengthy road trip. It ended with an emphatic win in Washington. Bradley Beal facing his former team and Kevin Durant back where he grew up. But Milwaukee's been grinding out a road trip themselves. Game five of a five-game road trip. They had back-to-backs and really just kind of ran out of gas in the altitude in Utah on Sunday, and the Jazz came back and won. So the Bucks are now 1-3 and three on this four-game road trip, and now they face Phoenix, which should be well-rested. But again, they say sometimes the first game back home after a long road trip is almost just like the last road game, if you will. So still have the travel legs, if you will. I think Phoenix lights up this Milwaukee defense. I think they score at will. The team total is definitely a play for me. I think that's the best play in this game. The Suns team total over. Interesting game. I get it. Bucks should be able to get their points as well, but they don't play any defense. I know Doc Rivers came in to help maybe fix that, but I, I think Phoenix will get their offense and probably cover the four. I do lean to the Phoenix side as well. As for game one of the TNT doubleheader, an intriguing matchup with Dallas in Brooklyn, back-to-backs for both teams. Mavs were just a short road favorite in Philly and snapped their short two-game skid, got Kyrie back, and gave Lucas some help, and they get the the uh, pulled away in the second half, get the double-digit win on the road. Now they go to Brooklyn, who just lost at home to Golden State. Real ugly game in terms of the shooting, particularly in the first half, uh, and it was tight, and then the offense did pick up in the fourth quarter a little bit, but Cam Thomas has been such a litmus test and measuring stick for this Nets team. Just four of 21 from the field, against the Warriors. Golden State only 4 of 22 from downtown, but it was enough for the road win and cover. So the Nets, what do we make of this team? They've been a little bit of a hit or miss. They've had some tight games. They blew down the stretch, although they won a couple prior to that Golden State game. I like Eileen Dallas, assuming Kyrie's playing. We don't know. It is a back-to-back, but I would lean to that side. This Mavs team has a lot of firepower. In fact, both teams do, but that's where I'm leaning right now, at least to Dallas. So both relatively short favorites I'll lean to, but I really like that Phoenix team total over against a poor Milwaukee defense. 